Okay, so, um, got the grinding done, uh, and I think I am going to try the battle that I think I'm least likely to win first, then go on to the one that, I'm, that I think I'm going to, I'm more likely to win. Yeah. Um, the reason why I think I'm least likely to win this battle is because, one, you saw how little damage I did to the Hop Hip area, and that's only level 7, and he's much higher level, so I think I'm going to need to do a bunch of grinding before I even have a chance of beating him with struggle. Two, um, why ain't it useful? Two, oh yeah, I'm slower. Um, uh, what is it called again? Um, Meropod. Not Meropod. Cascoon. No, not Cascoon. Ah, what's the, what's the opposite to Meropod? We can't spell Meropod. It's, um, it's Weedle. Cascoon? No, it's like a little Nah. Yeah. You know what, what I'm referring to. Um, that is has no attacking moves and it, uh, he has uh, less Pokemon, so I think it'll be easier to take him out then. Oh, of course it thinks. Yeah, gonna need to do more grinding. Fireall. Load state. And I think the only other Pokemon he has is a Weedle, so... Um... That means... That it shouldn't be... That I should be able to beat him with Struggle. Now... I do have a bit of a concern with Bugsy. For a couple of reasons. Firstly, um, he's got Cypher and a Weedle, which aren't really going to be a problem because you know, they like, can counter them easily. But uh, my concern is that he also has uh, whatever Weedle evolves into, which is going to be a problem because that's right in the middle of things. So it's just like. What I think I'm going to have to do uh, for Bugsy is... Oh, of course you poison me on the first fucking attack, you piece of shit. Um, is use up all my reflect... Uh, no, yeah, flex, mirror, no, mirror coats and uh, magic co coats and destiny bombs. So I can then, then I only have counter PP, and then I should run out of PP before he runs out of PP, hopefully. Yeah, I think we need to do some grinding. No, I don't have any berries. Nah, no, that's annoying. I don't really have anywhere good. Right, so unlike uh, the last grind where I could just um, go grind on unknowns, I can't really do that because even if I want to go all the way back there to grind on the unknowns, that's, uh, I'd have to go back all the way back through the cave and then all the way back up that route and then just to do some grinding and uh, also if I seem a bit out of it, I've not been well the past couple of days, I've been like I've had a headache, and I've been extremely tired, so, yeah, I'm a little bit out of it, 
out of it. Um, uh, so, a bit thirsty. It's a um, hot day today. Um, oh, my nose is bunged up as well. Which is the worst feeling just right when your nose is all bunged up and you can't breathe through it. So you have to breathe through your mouth, which I hate doing. Because then you get even more thirsty and you have to drink more. And Oh, it's worse. I've been miserable the past couple of days. And literally, no joke, this came on pretty much as soon as I finished uh, recording the voiceover for the last video. Um... Oh, fuck my nose. Uh. But, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna have to... Um... I don't know if I'm even really gonna be able to... You struggle all these wild Pokemon, which means uh, I'm gonna have to just knock out wild Pokemon until I knock myself out. Then I'm gonna have to waste all my PP on two more hop hits. Oh, very critical hit, nice. And Shell Bell really is not helping with the uh, Struggle strategy because Struggle, for some reason they decided that to make Struggle do, always do 25% of your maximum HP. Which, because I have a lot of HP, um, Shell Bell's never really going to be able to restore much of my HP. Like, it would be so much easier if Struggle did recoil proportionate to the amount of damage you did. Like, if it did that, then this would be so much better, and I'd probably be able to do this a lot easier. But now, Always 25% of your maximum HP, fuck you all. You wanna win too bad. 10 NSB points for whoever gets that reference I just made. Oh my nose. And it's itchy as well, it's an itchy, bunged up nose and miserable and a headache. And I'm tired. And I'm just generally miserable. Ah, uh, I want to beat that clean Stardew Valley. I'm not going to get any XP for this because I'm going to knock myself out. So. Oh wait, I'm not, I don't want to knock myself out because that means I'm going to lose money. Yeah. So I don't know how much I'm going to need to grind up. I think maybe to level 25. Because... Uno Reverse has awful attack, like, I believe it has a minus attack nature, if I remember correctly. Yeah, bold nature, less attack for more defense. Which is... Its attack is almost equal to its, uh, is more than a special attack and its speed. And just a little bit lower than this attack and special uh, defense and special defense, which is annoying. Yeah, rubbish attack, so I'm gonna need to grind a good bit because actually, I've, I think I'm gonna grind to level 20 first, then try again at level 20, then. Um, Uh, see how well I do at level 20, and uh, 
and yeah, go on from there, I guess. Uh, so yeah, let the grinding begin.
Hop Hips stats. And it's got 35 HP and 40 defense. And yeah, that's going to be concerning because I looked up what this, what the rival's Bayleaf uh, stats are. And it's level 18 Bayleaf. And its base stats are 60 HP and 80 defense. Basically double the hop hip. So if I can't one shot a hop hip at le when I'm more than double its level, how many levels do you think I'll need to be to one shot a bay leaf? And really grinding that is not viable really. Like there is like let's just say I need it to be bare minimum double Bailey's level just to be you know just to have a decent chance at doing half HP that's uh, over that's over level 30 because it's going to be level 18 so that's uh, 12 and um, you know so yeah 32 it's going to be fit level I'd have to be level 32 just for a chance of two shotting the Bayleaf. And that's not to mention that he's got two Pokemon before that. Meaning that even if I did manage to do that, I would still lose. Um, meaning that I would need to be a lot higher level than that. I'd have to one-shot the Bayleaf. So assuming that about level 32, I'm doing a, just over half HP as I'm doing to hop up here. That means I'm probably going to be need to be about level 50 to one shot the bay leaf. More or less, like that's just again, yeah, that's just estimating off the top of my head. That's not going to happen. So, for the sake of my time, sanity, or well, what's left of my sanity at least, my time and what's left of my sanity, I'm going to have to bre modify one of the rules. So, I really want to do it to attempt this without using items. But... As it stands now, well, items in battle, like, but as it stands now, that it, doing that is seemingly impossible, unless I wanted to grind for the rest of my life, or use a rare candy cheat to do it, but I think, uh, in my opinion, using that rare candy cheats basically defeats the point, like, I'm okay with, like, um, in, like, po other people doing it in post-game, like, sure, you know, you got a time schedule to keep, but I don't really have a time schedule to keep. I this is a this is a hobby I don't do as a job, so I'm probably not. That's why I didn't even use it in the post game with Lugia. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have to use potions in battle. There's no other way around it. Like, uh, let's actually look at Kuna's stat. I actually managed to remember its name this time. Kakuna. Uh, so, Hop Hip was 35 HP and 40 defense. Kakuna is 45 HP, 50 defense. So, yeah, as it stands, I'm not even going to be able to two shot the Kakuna. And he also has a Weedle prior to the Kakuna. Which, yeah, no, no, not going to be possible really without using items. So I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to make an exception at least this time. Like, I don't know how many times I'm going to have to make this exception for... The rival, because the rival has the main reason why I need to use all my PP for the rival is because of Ghastly, and it ha because its only attacking move is Lick. In the third battle, its only attacking move is Lick. In the 
the fourth battle, it gets Shadow Ball instead. So, yeah. I think I'm going to have to make, modify the No Items in Battle rule to No Items in Battle with the exception of Pokemon who I cannot hit with Counter or Mirror Coat, either because they just don't have... Well, actually... Come to think of it, I might be able to be the Kakuna. Might. Because its only move is Harden, so if I just have enough PP to outstall its Harden, I think I can actually do it, do the cocoon without using items. But it's, the rival's still gonna be a thorn in my side. So let's try the rival real quick while with using items. And see how well this goes. I think I should be able to two shot Ghastly, at least. Level 14, Gatley, very frail. Ah, critical hit, so I don't know if it's going to be a one or not. Likely. And level 20. And the thing is, the reason why it would take for eternity for me to grind all those levels is because there's not really a good Pokemon to grind on here, like, unlike when I had the Unknown for Faulkner's Gym, because, yeah, I could just, like, grind on the Unknown and it, uh, they only had it in power, um, so they were good to grind on, but... Yeah, look, I'm free-shotting the Zubat. And that's when it just doesn't, just doesn't go for supersonic and confuses me. Alright, I'm gonna use... have to use a super potion. The move left is confused. Here's the second confusion. There is confused. Use trouble. Okay, so I take about thirty HP of damage in the recoil. And Bayleaf has Poison Powder as well, which, yeah, not going to be easy. So how much damage do I do to a Bayleaf? At level 20. No moves left. Oh, Bayleaf's using Razor Leaf, so it outspeeds me. Is confused. Used Struggle. Even with items, this is going to be impossible. At the moment. Oh, this is not going to be easy. Oh. 
Alright, so... Um... There's not really anything I can do. Just like, um, right, so something that I did uh, with uh, in the post game with the Elite Four with Lugia is I just went through the Elite Four, knocked out as many as I could on, until I fainted. And that's again, that's just not really an option because, um, I can't hit Ghastly with Counter or Mirror Coach because Lick's a physical move. And it's a ghost type, so it's an encounter, so... I just... I, so if I wanted to grind using silver, I'd what I'd have to do is I'd have to, um... Just... Uh, use up all my PP, presumably on, like, Magikarps and Hopkits. Then, when I'm all out of PP... Um, struggle in that battle until I faint, uh, and then go waste a bit more. Money. And that, how long would that take? I mean, probably not nearly as long as just like trying to grind on the wild Pokemon because you know, that would take an eternity to walk up. Well, but even then, I'd only be able to like knock out one of his Pokemon probably. Pick lemon. It's not really a good option here to deal with silver. Ugh. I'm doing one fifth of Bailey's HP and it's poisoned me so that means that it, I would need to like it defies times while being poisoned while it is attacking me I'd have to just be like spamming potion after potion after potion essentially I think I could do. Right. Can't really lose. Can't really. EV trick. No, there's not really anything I can do about this. I'll just have to brute force it. Ah, uh, fuck. Of course, I get poisoned. Oh, and he has more than two Pokemon. Um, 
Damn, okay. Yeah, this probably is not gonna go well. Reels gonna slow me down. Like, there's a 10% chance that we the poison me. I, mean, I know I've not got any PP, I'm just gonna try this with the to be honest. I will, but. But I don't think this skill is really gonna work. Yeah, me either. Oh, come on! Oh yeah, because of that, it's not going to get killed now. Those are crits, yep. Yep, pretty much my only option now is to... I don't even really... No, I think this might actually just be the end of this one because... While it would be possible, I suppose, to get past this, the amount of time it would take to grind it, like, I know that I said I, I don't have a schedule, so I more, so I don't really, um, mind grinding, uh, that much, so, but, it's just that, I'd have to be, like, level 50, I guess I could just, I, and I don't really have enough money to just, Bam, items. Uh, I could sell the fast but that's not going to really get me much. So, uh, what's my situation? So I can't sell that. I don't really have the money to just spam items endlessly. Yeah, I really just don't have any good ideas for how to get past this. Because it's just like, I'm doing one from failure, so it's like... Well, like I said, I don't even think spamming items would be that helpful. Okay, and a used case, which is pretty much game over. Yeah, and there's also the fact that Gasly could just use Curse, which, if it uses Curse, then that's just instantly game over. Not even doing after the loop, I don't know. The 
Fellow Surface on the Kits. out all the trainers on area routes. <laughs> yeah, there's not really anything I can do because Quick save state here. But I just saw that apparently outside the ruins of Alf in Hargold Soul Silver. Encounter Natus? I like level 26, but I think if that is right, then I definitely there's grass. No, there are definitely there is like full grass at the so yeah, no, so I won't be able to access the Natus. Oh yeah, so that is probably right then. So yeah. <sighs> like honestly the best way to grind would probably be the unknown because they are the most um, predictable out of any Pokemon because they obviously only got one move. But the problem with them is that they're very low level and they don't give much EXP, which I even like thought about grinding on the um, Goldines for the Goldines. Um, they're a 15% encounter, which isn't too bad, but uh, they have multiple non attacking moves, which is a pain in the bum. What about through Rock Smash? Can I get any decent Pokemon through Rock Smash here? Yeah. Like these encounters level wise. I doubt I think you can only get items, surfing, gold rod, rock smash, geodude, level 3 to 14. Ugh, no, geodudes, they defense kill, rock polish, a pain in the bum, they waste a lot of time. Not really any good way, like again. I to have any a decent like I'd have to be like 
I'm only doing one third damage to Zubat and one fifth of Bailey's HP, so I'd have to be like five times my current level, uh, more or less. Nah, that would be like level 8. I don't think I'd have to be 5 times my level. I probably just need to be like level 50. Yeah, they do very little damage, so it would take a lot. It would take a while just to... It's going to take a while just to knock one out, like... The, that's the only way I could think of this being possible is just grinding for an eternity to level up. The only other thing I could possibly think of in Hat Golden Soul Silver is your mother does buy stuff for you. And, like, I think the only thing she could buy is a choice band. So the only thing I could think of is, was like, again, extremely lucky and she buys you a choice band. And then, uh, that, I think choice band would affect struggle, meaning that your struggle would be doing a lot more damage. Right, let's watch the XP bar move. In a moment. 43... Okay, it moved a bit more than I thought, but yeah, 43 EXP. And... Well, it should say here, somewhere. Yeah, so 1,200 divided by 43. 1,200... Divide by 43. That's 28 uh, unknowns, essentially. Like it's 27.906976744. Or 27 and 39 uh, over 4 fit 43. Um, but let's just say 28, just because I, 28 unknown per level. Um, just to get from level 20 to 21. Now, just to get from level 20 to 30, so that would be 280 unknown. And that's just to get to level 30. At that point, I'm probably going to be able to reliably one-shot the Ghastly. Probably two-shot the... Um, Zubat and three shots McGee Bailey if, if I'm lucky. So I'd have to get like another 280 to get to level 50 probably. But bear in mind, I'm being very generous here because it's probably going to be a lot more. So that's like 500 unknown just to get 15 levels. And even then, I would be willing to bet I'd still lose, even with items. So yeah. Um, I think that's the end, like, I... The only thing I can really... There's not really much I could do. I think I could beat Bugsy if I get to him. Uh, but the thing... The problem is that there's that uh, bug catcher right there with the mare pod. Uh, not the mare pod, the cocooner and the weedle and something else. And it's just like... That's going to be a pain in the bum. Um...
But yeah, I think his team wouldn't be too much trouble. Like, uh, gold, silver, crystal, high gold, soul, silver. Uh, the Cypher does have the Citrus Baby. It has U-turn, quick attack, Leo, focus energy. So it's pro it'd probably be a little bit annoying with going for focus energy than a bunch of Leos, but... And maybe a couple of U-turns, but quick attack wouldn't be a problem. Okay. Yeah, no, they, he'd be a bit more trouble. So he has a mare pod and a cocooner. The cocooner, surprisingly, is not a real problem because it has poison sting. And only poison sting. So if I could just make sure I keep safeguard up, I could KO it. Oh, KO it with a bunch of counters. But the problem there is it would take a lot of counters. And I think by the time I got to Cypher, I'd be out of counters. Metapod wouldn't be a problem. Oh, wait. It has tackle. Oh, not hard. And so... Yeah. I mean, the only other thing I can think of is just, like, PP stalling until like, they run out of poison stings and tackles and then struggle themselves to death. But I think by that point, I'd be low on HP, so... Fuck. Yeah, no. I don't think it is actually possible to get past Bugsy. Well, it, obviously it is possible if you just, like, get to a really high level. But it's just like, I do not have the time, patience, nor mental fortitude for that. So, yeah. I'm going to have to mark this down as no, you cannot beat Pokemon Heart Gold uh, Soul Silver with Wabafet. I mean, I could be missing something, and if you want. So, I, I'd be willing to just like. Um, you know. Find a, find you know, find out how to put, get myself a bunch of rare candies and just like rare candy myself up and see how far I can get, like at what level I'd have to be to get this done re reasonably. Um, but yeah, like I said. I, you just have to be at a really high level and without rare candies. Doing that within my lifetime is probably not going to be feasible. Because um, bearing in mind, just to, again, just to gain 15 levels, assuming that, um, well, not even assuming, just with, just with the EXP staying, staying at the same level as it is right now, I'd have to KO over 5 hundred unknown and they're the easiest and most reliable one to do and even then I think there'd become a point where I wouldn't even be able to KO unknown because my HP and special defense would be just so high that they'd only be able to do one damage meaning I'd only be able to do two damage to them meaning I'd only be able to do a maximum of 40 HP damage which I don't which I don't even know if they have I don't. I think they wouldn't have more than more more than forty HP, but it's just like. But then, even then, I'd only be able to like knock out one or two, that before going back to the Pokemon Center. So yeah, it's just like. The numbers, I just how lo how long that would take would just be. Just hours. Like I would have probably have to grind for days on end. Oh. Just gain a few levels. So yeah, uh, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Do you think that is there something I missed? Do you think um, that I should, you know, cheat in a bunch of rare candies and see at what level Wabafet could get past Bugsy and the. Silver and uh, um, yeah, uh, but I think this is probably where it's going to end because I don't think it's really 
that interesting to just like watch me wear candy while fed up and then be bugsy and I might be interesting just to see how far you can get afterwards but after that it's just like mm, I don't really think it's gonna be super interesting anyway I hope you guys all did enjoy the series I hope to see you guys in whatever I decide to do next and well actually I think I'm gonna take a break from uh, Pokemon challenges uh, because uh, for a couple of reasons firstly I just want to, because I'm getting back into streaming after a break, I want to um, do some more laid, laid back stuff uh, and relaxed stuff. So I think I'm going to take a break from Pokemon Challenges to do some other stuff uh, in the meantime. Um, and yeah, uh, I think that's everything. If you... Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna. Oh, and I think I'm gonna go back to like all the series that I've left unfinished and finish them. Uh, I don't know which, which one I'll do first, but I think I'll do one. Like, but off the top of my head, there's Mario and Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. I don't know if I'm gonna start that again from the beginning or continue on from where I left off, but I think I might start from the beginning again with that. Um, I might go back to my to the series and. Uh, look at the videos and see how what quality they are because I think I recorded them before I got capture card so I think I might just delete all the old ones and uh, um start again because I I do I don't like leaving things on finished on my channel um there's also Super Mario Galaxy 2 I'm definitely not restarting that but in Super Mario Galaxy 2 I got all the way to like the second to last not the second to last, the very last, like, star, but I never managed to do that, so I might do some live streams on trying to do that at some point. And there's also, like, the last level of Star Fox Adventures I never finished, and, oh, it's been a while since I played that game. Um, but, yeah. Um... So yeah, I hope to see you guys in whatever I decide to do next, and bye-bye.